What's up guys, GT here and in today's video we'll be checking out two pedals from Sonic Cake, the Wave Crush and the Octaver. Let's do this. Now as you can see I've got the pedals in front of me. A uh, couple of things I have to clarify before we get into any of the tones is that obvious disclaimer this video is in no way sponsored by Sonic Cake. They've been kind enough to send me these pedals for a review and also I want to clarify my signal chain. I'm going from my Ernie Ball Music Man JP15 guitar here directly into the Octaver pedal and from there I'm going into the Wave Crush and then from there I'm going into the Axifix 2 which I'm going to be using for the main section of the tones which is the amp and the cab. Uh, we're going to be checking out some clean tones and some dirty tones as well so let's get right into it. The first pedal that I want to check out is the Octaver. This obviously is an octave pedal. Uh, as the name suggests, it's going to add an octave to your actual playing or your actual tone or your signal chain, whatever you like to call it. The good thing is that it gives you an option, option to add two octaves instead of one. So I've, I've got it set up right now at uh, you know the octave one at around noon and the mix around noon as well by the way this is not a mix this is called the dry so the more i add it the more dry signal of my guitar i'm going to be getting so i've kept it around 50 percent octave two is at zero the other good thing i want to call about is that they've got led lights now which is a really good thing i called this out in one of my reviews earlier that would be really great to have some sort of LED display to tell you if the pedal is on or not. So Sonic Cake, thank you for listening to that. That's an excellent option to have, to have an LED light to tell you that the pedal is on. So I've got it turned on right now. Uh, before that, let's switch it off again and let's hear my signal chain as in a dry. I'm playing a clean amp right now. This is how it sounds. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much the tone. Let's add in the octave and immediately you'll be able to hear that it's adding an octave uh, lower to your actual note that you're playing. That sounds really cool. Uh, let's add in a bit of more of the octave. So let's hear how that sounds. Now obviously I'm not playing any chords, it's an octave pedal. The moment you start throwing multiple notes at it at the same time, it's obviously going to get a bit confused and it's going to start having some sort of, sort of artifacts and some sort of unclear sort of notes and reproduction of the octave because it's trying to figure out which note you're trying to octave. So obviously if I play a chord, you can hear that there's a lot of uh, unclear and muddled sort of an octave sound coming from there, which is not bad, which is probably not what this pedal is meant to do. It's, it's probably meant to be used with single notes and to get you that sort of uh, bass player playing along sort of a feeling so pretty much use it for that context only so uh let's hear with the mix 100 percent so i'm going to put the dry back to zero because that's not the mix that's a dry pedal that's the dry knob so let's hear how that sounds Obviously the volume drops quite a lot because obviously you're using an octave pedal in the signal chain. So let's bring it back to 50%. Let's jump into some dirty tones. I'm going to switch over to a dirty preset. Alright, so we're on to a dirty preset now. I've got a USC 2C++ amp set up here. One of my favorite amps from the Axifix 2. Uh, high gain sort of a tone, but you should get an idea of how the octave pedal sounds like with that. Uh, let's bring the octave back to around noon and mixes around noon. So if you play something like this now. That sounds like John Mayng is playing with you, isn't it? <laughs> That sounds really cool, but obviously the effect might be a little too much to have, so you can always tame it down by increasing the dry signal a bit more. So hear that again.
obviously 100% dry would mean that you're pretty much not using the pedal at all. But there's still a little bit of that octave coming through, which is obviously going to happen because you've got the pedal on. So the other thing that this pedal has is a second octave, so you can go and add an octave lower than what you'd uh, usually do with the first octave. So let's bring that up. I'm going to switch off the or turn down the octave one to almost zero. Let's bring up the second octave here. Let's bring it up to noon. Let's hear how that sounds. Obviously that sounds really low, but that's probably because it's trying to go two octaves uh, below your uh, played note. So let's turn down the mix a little bit. Let's push up the octave a little bit more. It's not doing a really good job at the distorted tones and that's probably expected because by the way I'm on standard tuning at the moment I'm not playing a uh, dropped tuning guitar by any means so it's it's obviously trying to find the note two octaves lower which can be quite low at times so uh, if I want to use it I pretty much will not use the octave two I pretty much would use octave one to get me that sort of a uh, uh, you know feeling that I'm playing with a bass player it could really help at times in your mixes when you don't when you just want to create a really quick mix and have the bass sort of follow the guitar again playing chords on it might not be a really good idea because it's going to get those artifacts out for you but playing you know notes like these can be a really good option all right that's pretty much the octave pedal no rocket science there it's pretty simple and it does a good job at what it's supposed to do let's switch off that one and let's come up to the wave crush now now wave crush is a three mode bit and sample rate down sampler uh, it's sort of a bit crusher and it also changes your sample rate to bring it lower and you can pretty much use it to get sort of a lo-fi sort of a tone Let's just face it, I mean, if you're a guitar player, at some point in time, you've always wondered, how can I make my guitar really sound filthy and dirty and get that really noisy and absolutely gross sort of a tone out of it, <laughs> for the lack of a better word. So this pedal can get you all of that stuff if you're looking for that lo-fi radio sort of a settings, or you're looking for that gramophone sort of a settings, uh, you can pretty much get out of this uh, pedal. If you ask me personally, it's not a pedal of my choice. I like my tone really clean, but it's a pedal. It's a choice that you can obviously use in your signal chain. So let's turn it on. I've got it. Uh, so as you can see, it's got three options here. That pretty much is the radio, normal, and gramophone option over there. Uh, you've got the bit uh, depth, how much bit depth you want to do. And you've got the sample rate as well. You can, I believe you can go from 750 hertz to 44,100 hertz. 44.1 k hertz which is uh, standard uh, pretty much a frequency um, and then you've got the mix here i've got the mix at 100 percent right now and obviously this has a led light as well which is also really cool and handy kudos to sonic cake for that let's turn it on and i've got it at a setting which i like at the moment so it's on the uh, radio setting at the moment and the bit depth is almost uh, at the minimum mix it is 100 percent and the crush is around 10 o'clock. So I'm not gonna turn up my volume the whole way, but you can see how this sounds. Sort of like a cock war sort of a feeling. So you can hear that sort of a radio sort of a tone coming in and I've not even you know touched the bit depth at the moment. So let's go ahead and uh, you know tweak some things and tweak some knobs and hear how it sounds. So I'm going to put up the bit depth quite a lot. Let's bring it up to 10 o'clock. So 
So it's got that really dirty sort of a, you know, lo-fi sort of a guitar effect, which is quite cool. Let's try and bring the mix down a little bit so that we can hear a different sort of a tone. <laughs> That sounds absolutely filthy. <laughs> Let's try the third mode, which is the gramophone mode. Let's turn up the bit depth a bit right now. So because I brought the mix down, mix down. Let's bring up the bit depth quite a lot and let's bring up the crush as well. That sounds absolutely filthy. <laughs> but you know, you could probably use it in on some track. It's doing what it's supposed to do, not that the pedal is, you know, malfunctioning in any way. Let's bring the bit down a bit. Let's turn on the mix a little bit and uh, let's hear it in the radio mode again with higher crush settings. That sounds really cool. So that's pretty much it. Those are the two pedals I wanted to show you guys in this video. What do you guys think? Would you go ahead and purchase these pedals? Actually, I forgot to mention, they are not expensive at all. So I put up the prices here on the screen here so you can check out what the prices for these pedals are. Really affordable and really good quality sounds. Let me know in the, in the comments below what you guys think about these two pedals and if you have one, what are the different uses that you would probably use these for and uh, if you wanted me to check out any other Sonic Cake pedal, let me know in the comments guys. I would be happy to write to them and do a video for you guys as well. In case you aren't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so. I obviously have a lot of content on there for you to check out in terms of guitar tones and in terms of some cool solos as well. So make sure you give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel. And until I see you guys in the next video, make sure you stay safe guys. Keep rocking. Cheers. Bye-bye.